All right, I'm going to start with, let's just start with, how did you know Tamla? My son um, has played football with her boys since they were little. Like, I don't remember what, I mean, forever. They're going into high school now. So just kind of an estimate how long you've known her. Let's see, Cole's 13, I don't know, five years, six years. Did anybody else at the party, because I know there's some people who had never met her before, mm -hmm. who else knew her that you know of? Nobody really knew her. Um, uh, Jean knew her from football, same thing. Um, uh, I know Sarah Nicole didn't know her at all. Uh, Bertie didn't know her at all. I don't think anyone else knew her at all. So you say you and Jean were probably the only two that really knew her. Yeah. Okay. And you invited, you were the one throwing this party, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I had been hanging out with Tam, I guess, for about, I don't know, three or four weeks, like from the weekends and the th football games and stuff. And um, we, went to, we went to the Falcon Stadium, a bunch of us moms, and played football with the Falcons players. And then we did Halloween together. And then she came over after one of the football games, and we, well, we went, met at um, Pizza Zuri. And then we went back to my house and hung out for a little while, her and the boys. And Okay. Did you guys hang out prior to those three or four weeks? Did you guys hang out regularly? No, or? not really. No, we had just started getting close. At one of the football games, we just started chit-chatting and talking. And she told me how she was trying to get oh, try, trying to get a new group of friends because she felt like the, the ones that she were hanging out with weren't the best for her and her family. And... Anybody like that, anybody, you know, I don't know. I just, she's a sweet lady. And also my daughter, um, she did help my daughter. We started, we, when we moved to our house, that was three years ago. She was in third. So two years ago, yeah, because she's going into sixth. She, Riley was in third grade and she volunteered at the school, Tam did, and she Riley was getting bullied, and she was scared, and it was a new school, and Tam helped her. Okay. She was always there, and that's really how, I guess, we started talking and stuff. So Tam volunteered at the school? Yes. Or, okay. mm -hmm. She was a volunteer, and she would go in and check on Riley and make sure she was okay and just let her know she was there for her. She really helped her out a lot. So you knew of her before you started kind of like really getting to yeah, know her? Yeah, I knew her. her from the football games and stuff, but I didn't know know her. Like you guys weren't hanging out right. outside of the football games? Right, not okay. yet, yeah. But she would let me know how Riley was doing. Sorry, I don't know who's no, blowing fine. me up. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's just start with the first time that you hung out with her. What? Where was okay. that? How did that go? That was a football game. Um, I'm not proud, but when I got there, um, we were all hanging out. Well, it was a football game and her and her husband, she'd been drinking wine and he was going to the store to get more and asked me if I wanted some. And my husband had driven. So I was like, well, sure. I'll have some wine. So he went to the gas station and got those four things, you know, the wine that you can get in four little okay. things. Yeah. Like the little like box things. Yeah. Okay. Well, they were not. They were bottles. bottles. Okay. And so he got, I do remember, he got me one and her one. And then I don't know what he got himself. But he um, brought it back. I just poured two in my Yeti. And she took hers. And we went back into the football game. We well, shouldn't have done that. But um, right. we drank that. Then we went home. On our way home, we decided we were going to stop at Pizza Zuri. And they were going to meet us there. Well, somehow her and her husband got in an argument, and she sat him out on the side of 400. I do remember that, because I was like, what? And she's, they were doing construction, and apparently he has a friend that drives one of the big trucks, and it was out there. So she came in. She was late, and she met us for dinner at Peace Missouri. And that's right there off of 400, yes. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, we had a glass of wine. We ate dinner. We went back to my house. And we talked, and she was telling me all about her past and um, 
about, you know, how she was just wanting to just be a better person. Um, Let me, I'm going to back you up, sorry. It's okay. Um, so she showed up alone and said that she and Lee had gotten into an argument? Yeah, she was just her and one of the boys. I can't remember if it was both the boys or one, honestly, at this point. It was so long ago. It might have been, Gavin, it might have been both of them, Peyton and Gavin, but I can't remember. Did she tell you what they were fighting about? She just said that he was being stupid. <laughs> I don't really remember. I just remember saying something like that. Okay. She said she put him out on four hundred. Yeah. Okay. But she did. She did specify that he had a friend that drove a dump truck, and he was there, so he would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then you guys went back to your house after mm -hmm. eating. Yep. The boys came with, too, mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Okay. You said you guys just talked about her past yeah. and her wanting to be a better person. Mm hmm We talked about me and, I mean, just chit-chat, really. I'm not sure we talked about not me, too. <laughs> Did she say what she meant by wanting to be a better person? Like, and I'm not trying to, like... Because she had told me about her. her yeah, like she that. told it's me not... about her past, how that she got in trouble in Miami. I think that's where she lived before, is what she told me. In Florida, they had gotten in trouble. Um, I, I do remember saying was, she got in trouble with, like, a gang or something. I don't know. And okay. th that's why they moved here. But now this is after quite a few glasses right. of wine. So <laughs> I didn't really think about it anymore. And like I said, we're trying to, like I said, I don't want to discredit her. We're just trying to get a picture of her life. Right. Even prior to and how well you guys kind of knew her. And mm -hmm. we're trying to just paint the whole picture instead of just focusing on that night. Right. It's better for us if we have, like, a clear picture of everything. Yes. <laughs> so that's part of all this. So that's why, like, I know some of these are going to be hard questions and questions that you don't want to embarrass yourself or embarrass her. We're not here to judge anybody. We're just trying to get all this yeah. down. Well, I'd just like to know what happened to him myself. So yeah. I'm okay with it. Um, okay, so, but everything went well. Then she did she drive home mm -hmm. from your house? Yeah. About how long was she at your house, do you think? I don't know. Maybe That's okay. I know, I know it's, a, I'm asking, yeah. you know, from almost two years ago, but. <laughs> no arguments or anything like that between the two? You should watch Never. She was there. Okay. Never. I don't know how anyone could argue with her about, I mean, she was seriously the most incredible, loving, fun-spirited, just happy go lucky person ever. I mean, even when she was upset with her husband and, you know, set him out on the side of the 400, she was still got there and was just as happy as could be. <laughs> just, I mean, wasn't angry, just laughing about it. And right. I mean, it's just, it's just sad. I don't think she ever met an enemy or anyone that didn't like her. She was just an incredible person. Well, we've heard good things about her. So, yeah. um, all right. So the second time y'all hung out, when was that? Oh, I think that was the Halloween. I have pictures from all that too. So was that the week after you guys had hung out the first time? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was right around in there. I don't know if it was a week. It was just. It was like. I, I just remember it was bam, 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 bam. But we went to the football thing. It might have been the football thing next. Okay. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I can't remember. No, that's the okay. Days. I just I know that you don't we think went. you don't think to document these things in your head. Yeah. You know, no. you never think something like this is going to happen. Yeah. So. I we a bunch of us football moms did go to um, play football, and she went with, and we rode with Sarah and Nikki, and me and Tam did, and we went to the Falcons football stadium, and was Sarah. 
It's not that Sarah. Different Sarah. It's another Sarah. Who's the other Sarah? It's Sarah uh, Dinsmore. Dinsmore. Mm-hmm. And who's Nikki? Nikki uh, Ferguson. She's another football mom. And so, you know, it was not a football mom party. It was Jean's birthday party. It was right. like been crazy. It was not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys went to the Falcons game, to the Falcons stadium and played football. Yeah, mm-hmm. and came home. And was there was any it? drinking then while y'all we were there? We had wine. Yes, okay. we did have wine. While y'all were there, did you go somewhere afterwards? No, it was before, actually. Where was that at? Honestly, in the car on the way down there. I'm okay. just gonna be honest. No, like I said, we're not we're not here to, to judge anybody or because we were drinking or in look the at bar you for doing anything. We did, and maybe that's something I should preface now. Like breaking laws like that right now. That's not that's not our focus. Mm-hmm. We're trying to figure out what's going on here. Doing drugs, mm-hmm. any of that stuff. I don't care about. We're not the drug police. I'm gonna ask these questions. I need truthful answers. Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm not going to arrest you for doing coke or marijuana a year and a half ago. Like, I just, we need to kind of figure out what all was going on. So that's, like I said, people tend to get hung up and lie about stuff like that, which makes it look bad because you're lying to us when it's just you don't want to get in trouble. And we're not here to get anybody in trouble. That's not what this is about. So, um, Uh, yeah, we we drank wine in the car on the way down. And um, that was it. We didn't, because we drank it all before we got there. Okay. Um, how did things go there? I mean, wonderful. Was, okay. We had a wonderful time. Oh, we got pictures of that too. Okay. Smiling and laughing and cutting up. We had a good time. Getting to relax and pretend like you're not moms for a little yes. while, like you're 20 year olds again. Trust yes. me, I feel you. So. Yes, it was so nice. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, so then the third time, Halloween party. Or was it just like the, a... The, it was the Halloween party. It okay. was. We, and our kids were there, and her husband and my husband. and Where was this at? This was at Sarah Dinsmore's house. Okay. They have the coolest Halloween parties. And we all went to retreat with our kids and walked together, and we had drinks. So it was her whole family was there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We were drinking wine that night, too? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Went trick or treating, took the kids trick or treating. Yep. Okay. And we came back, and then my husband and I left, and our kids. Because I had to work the next day. Okay. Do you recall who all was there? Oh, Lord. I know Nick, the Fergusons were there. Okay. And no, I don't. Besides that, it was Tam and her family, the Fergusons and theirs, the Densmores and their boys. Us and our kids. There were some of Sarah's neighbors, but I didn't know them. Okay, so the people you knew, Ferguson's, yeah. Cosfords, you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Cybers. The Cybers were there. I do remember that, but I don't know if he was there. I know his wife was. What's her first name? Do you? Um, oh, he's called her Cyber. I don't know. How do you spell uh, her last name? S I V E R, maybe? Yeah. I don't I'm totally drawing a blank. That's fine. And like I said, if you think of it later. I have her face in my head. If you think of it later, feel free to email me and call me. Whatever. Okay. It's not a big deal. Text me. Okay. Yeah, she was there. Um, okay. Was that the last time you hung out with her prior to Jean's party? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then and Jean, Jean's party would have and been. And that was Halloween night. Okay. And then Jean's party was right after that. Was that next weekend? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you sent out the invitations, correct? I did. Okay. Um, how did you send those out? Key bite. Okay. Did everybody you invite invited, did they come, or mm-hmm. were there other people that did not? Nope. Okay. There's other people that did not come. But how many people you think that did? How many people were invited to the party <sighs> total? Gosh, I don't know. I have no clue. Okay. Maybe 15 or 20. I, I don't That's know. fine. Like I said, if there's answers you don't know, it's yeah. fine. Like I said, I know we're asking you <laughs> yeah. a long time span here. So, mm-hmm. um, 
All right, just kind of walk me through that day. So okay. when you got to Jean's house. Do you want me to walk you through that day or when my day started? That way you'll understand why I was so tired and went to bed. That's fine. Start me with your, <laughs> okay. with your day. <laughs> okay. My sister's baby reveal party was that day also. Okay. And I was throwing it. Um, so I was up Friday night till about 1 o'clock in the morning getting ready for that party. And up at 5 a.m. through my sister's reveal party. Then was it Jean's? Went from that party straight to Jean's. Well, my sister had a bunch of her college girlfriends come into town, and they stayed at my house, which is why my husband came to the party. And he actually didn't come to the party. They just watched the football game in the basement and stayed out of our way. Okay. So Tom was there because you had a bunch of college girls staying at your house, yes. and he was trying to not <laughs> yes. get himself in any he, kind of he, questionable was, situation. An, yes, <laughs> he didn't want it to be inappropriate, so he came to the party and him and Jose were in the basement almost the whole time. They came up for cake and to sing happy birthday. And I'm assuming he knew Jose yeah. mm-hmm. already. Yes. You said they didn't come up until you guys did cake. Mm-hmm. I'm remembering it right, but I do remember them being there for the cake. Okay. Okay. So, about what time did you get to Sean's? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what time the party started. To be honest <laughs> with you, I don't know. I don't even know what time it was. I didn't study for this. I think it was like six, seven. Okay. Were you one of the first people there? Yeah. So you were there early, though? Yeah, Okay. <laughs> earlier. Yeah, I was there the whole time. Do you remember who all was there when you got there? No. Okay. Mm. Jean. Okay. But I do, I, do, I, I mean, this may help. I, I should still have the text from Tam. text from her but not from there I mean you are more welcome to look through them they go back to September 28th that, that was about when I was talking to her right ahead. Um, but she texted you that day I thought she did but I apparently she didn't okay um, but she had told me she was going to be there later okay so or maybe she told me when she got there that that's why she was late why was she late? She told me that she had to stop by her friend's house who was going through a messy divorce at the time and um, console her. And when she got there, she was just happy to not be around it. And that's what she was telling me, how the friends that were bringing her down, that she didn't need to be around them. Did she tell just you that? Like, did she kind yeah. of pull you aside and talk to yeah. you? Okay. It wasn't like a like a pull me aside kind of thing. It was more like a just, hey, how are you? I'm so sorry I was late. This is what was going on. Okay. That's kind of the way it went. I wasn't like she was trying to be secretive. Did anybody else hear her say that? Do you remember? Okay, I didn't know if anybody was standing around you that remembered. Uh, no, like I said, <laughs> we, know, we know that there's been some time, and like I said, nobody's like taking notes while you're there. You don't yeah. think something like this will happen, so... But that's why I'm just trying to get what you do remember. It's not, um, okay. Um, so just kind of when she got there, what, what happened? Um, she, uh, we were introducing her to everybody and she was chit chatting. We were having drinks. We were all mingling. We were, um, eating, you know, appetizers. That's what we did. Um, I'm going to take a picture. Okay. Um, that's really it. Okay. Was she drinking? Yeah, uh, not when she, I mean, she started drinking when she first got there. She had brought the bottle of tequila, and she had brought it, I guess, for Jean's birthday present, and then she, Jean's like, I can't drink that. And, um, 
so she wanted everybody to do, taste it, and we were all like, no, 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 uh-uh. And because she'd gotten it from Mexico, she said. Right. And she was so proud of it. And we were like, oh, no, we're not going to drink that. And the bad part is, is I made a joke, and I said, that's tequila. You can't drink that, which I feel absolutely horrible about now, of right. course. But I was like, I'm not drinking that. <laughs> so we didn't, and she was drinking it. So she, I got her a glass, and she fixed her drink. So she, as far as you know, she was the only one drinking that. Yeah. I think later, um, I want to say Marcy did a shot of it later, but I'm not positive. I just remember her wanting everybody to do a shot. and Nobody wanted to. Nobody wanted to. But for some reason, I think Marcy did. They had found out that they had known each other from Florida. Okay. So they were chit-chatting and stuff out on the patio. Because Tam was the only smoker there. Do you know for certain that she was the only one smoking that night? I don't know for sure. I don't okay. know if Marcy does or not. I don't know Marcy that well. Okay, so you think she was the only smoker? Yeah. I, I mean, I know she was smoking. because I'm anti-smoker and told her she needed to quit. But Marcy was outside with her quite a bit. Mm -hmm. okay. For a little while, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were just chitting up, chit-chatting. Was Tam the last one to get to the party? No, I don't think so. I think Paula was. Think. I can't. So everybody else was there when Tam got there, and then Paula came after Tam. Yeah, I can't remember if Sarah and Nicole left. They left kind of early, so I can't remember if they left before Paula got there or after. Okay. But it was real close because they left pretty early. So Sarah and Nicole left early. Mm -hmm. You're not sure if that was before or after Paula came? Yeah. Okay. Not positive. Okay. Um, so Tam was drinking. Was anybody else drinking? Everybody was drinking. I don't know. I don't even know if the guys were drinking, but I know the girls were. What were you guys? She said she was drinking the tequila. What were you guys drinking? I was drinking this. It's a blueberry buck drink that you can get at uh, Marlowe's Tavern. <laughs> it's like um, it's like blueberry vodka and ginger beer. Uh, I don't remember what else it has in it, but I haven't drank it since then. Gotcha. Um, do you know what other people were drinking? No. I, well, I do remember that. Jen was drinking wine. I do remember that because she had one of those big old fat bottles. And I only had like three, maybe three or four drinks the whole night because I was exhausted. Okay, Jen was drinking wine and you're not sure about everybody else, mm -hmm. but everybody was drinking something. Yeah. I'm not sure about the guys because I don't remember if they were drinking or not because they weren't up there with us right. most of the time. And this is just curiosity. Prior to this, because it sounds like pretty much every time you were with Tam, you guys were drinking, um, which mm -hmm. is social events. I get it. Yeah. Um, but she was drinking wine all those times, and then she mm -hmm. was drinking tequila at the party. Had what? you ever known her to drink anything other than wine? I, Until I had, no, okay. no, but I don't know what she drank. Um, I know I drank wine at Halloween, but I don't know if that's what she drank. Right. Um, but the other times we had wine together. Okay. Yeah, I was just curious because, yeah. I mean, people tend to have one type of drink, not that they don't branch out sometimes, yeah. but that's mm -hmm. why I wanted to, I was just curious. Okay. 
Did you ever go out on the back porch with him? Um, yeah, I was I was out there. Mm -hmm. But how many times did you go out with her? Do you remember? No. I mean, once more than once. I would say I d I was like in and out. I wasn't like, you know what I mean? It wasn't like I was out there with her. But it was like I was going out to say hi and. Okay. Were there lots of girls kind of in and out yes. on the porch? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we did go get my husband to try to get, um, Jean has that little fire pit in the table, and we went down there and got them and tried to get him to change out the gas because we couldn't get it to work. Mm -hmm. and that's where the gas tank was put over by the um, railing at the house is because he moved it and put it over there out of the way. It, it, it never worked, though. I think they were both out of gas. So Tom's the one, as far as, were you out there when Tom was doing that? Mm -hmm. And he was the one that moved the propane tank mm -hmm. to the railing? Okay. Mm -hmm. and I apologize, after I was down or I'll forget. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so the times that you were out on the porch with her, was she that she was the only one you saw smoking when you were out there? Yeah. Okay. And she did get the pot out, and I did take one hit off of it. Okay. And then Jean came out there, raising cane because we wasn't thinking that Jose could lose his job over it, and. She was like, no, no, no. So Tam put it away. As far as I know. And then I didn't really go back out on the porch anymore after that. Okay, did she have it already on her? Did she go, did you see her going inside and get it? I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Did anybody, did you see anybody else take a hit off I of it? don't remember. I just know that she asked me if I wanted it when she was out there doing it. And okay. I just said, I haven't done this stuff in years. And she was like, here, try it. And I did, and... It was one puff and done. So Jean came out and basically told her to put it away. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, she did. Because I didn't go back out there. Was it just the two of you out there then? I don't think so. I think there was other people out there, but I don't remember. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry, I don't remember at all. I don't remember if it, I don't. I just remember I did that. Like I said, thank you for being Because I was ashamed about it, like, so. <laughs> but I did. Lots of people smoke marijuana, it's not. <laughs> um. So you think she put it away after Jean told I think, her? Uh, but like I said, I went back in and she stayed outside and smoked. And then I think after that, some, I think it was after that, that's when we did um, sing happy birthday. I'm swear, I don't know if they gave you all the videos and stuff, that's where the video came that well, we sang happy birthday to Jean and mm -hmm. got the cake out. And Tim was happy as could be. All of us were, were having fun. Had Tam ever talked to you about smoking marijuana before in the times that you had yeah. been around yeah. her? Yeah. She had told me that she doesn't hide it from her kids. Nothing. And I'm like, <laughs> didn't know what to think. Different than you, how you live? Yes. Because <laughs> if my mama knew I did that, even still today, if she knew I even did that, she'd probably spank me. <laughs> Has she ever talked about doing anything else? No, she didn't talk about anything else with me. Any kind of pills or anything like that that you know she took? Mm -hmm. 
the reason I'm asking this question, you probably know her better than anybody else that was at that mm-hmm. party, so that's why I'm probably going to get a little more into just yeah. her with you than I am with other people, but that's because you knew her better. Yeah. Um, so other than drinking and, and marijuana, that's all you knew her to yeah. do? Okay. Yeah, I heard about the Xanax through the, you know, autopsy report or the um, toxicology report. Well, and since but, you know about it, yeah. do you know anybody there that takes Xanax that may have given her one? I didn't see anybody give anybody anything, and I don't, the only one that I know that takes it is Bridget. Uh, but she, because she has a necklace that she has it in, but I don't see her giving it to anybody. I, I just don't. But, I mean, I also don't know her that well, but I have, I don't. So she keeps her Xanax in a necklace. It's like a, it's a little necklace that a she has. Like locket type thing. Kind of, but it's it's like I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. something for it. But I don't have a clue. But I don't see Bridget. Give especially because she didn't know her, and Bridget's not a people person. She's very closed off, and and now, Tam thought it was funny that night that she was like that, and it was it was funny. Because she was like, I'm going to hug you. I'm going to make you love me. <laughs> and she just make everybody laugh. Very outgoing. Oh, yes. So they were like oil and water. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but Bridget was lightening up to her. She was she? just happy. And Bridget was working the whole time and on their computer. But she was kind of just staying over there by herself. And we were just, but she's sweet. Bridget's kind of like the, the mom that takes care of everybody. That's the way I would explain her. She's just like, I got you. I'll take care of you. Um, okay, so who was still there when you went to bed that night? Do you remember? Um, Jean, Jose, Tom. They Father. were upstairs at this point. When I was going to bed. I can't remember if Jean and Jose went up at the same time or if we went up separate. I don't remember, honestly. Okay. I just know that we all said we were going to bed and... Tam didn't want to go to bed. Okay. So, Jean, Jose, Tom, Paula. Paula, Tam, Aunt Modi was downstairs in bed already. And then, um, Jen was there and Marcy. I think that's it. Okay. And Bridget was still there. Okay. So you and Tom went up to bed. Yeah, I, Tam was, I was, um, Tam was trying to get me to stay up and I hugged her and told her I was going to bed because I was exhausted and she was making jokes that, uh, about Tom being there because she was the only one that didn't have anybody to sleep with and, um, I said, well here, we can let our phones sleep together and we sat our phones down on the night's table. And she told me she was going to go out and smoke and um, and go to bed. And then I went up and went to bed. Did, had Tom already gone up without you, or did you guys go up together? We went up together. As far as you know, Tom was in bed with you all night. Do you yeah. recall him getting up to go to the bathroom, anything like that? Nope. Did you get up to go to the bathroom or anything nope. during the night? And we were sleeping in the bedroom that is like closest to the back patio. It's right, it was upstairs, but like. I didn't hear anything. So is it like over that back patio kind no, of thing? No, like the back patio is here. Here's her living room. Mm-hmm. And the bedroom was like right up here. It's on the third story. Okay. So above the living room. Yeah. Okay. The window faces the backyard. That was on the top level or bottom? Top. top. So there you've got the basement, the main floor, and the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry, we're trying to, like, we're having to piece all this together just from pictures that were taken from that time. So that's yeah. we're trying to kind of get an idea of the house yeah. because we weren't actually out there. Yeah. But. I've tried to rack my brain and think, like, I just, I didn't hear anything. And I know I was, I, and I normally, I'm such a light sleeper. Such a light sleeper. Like, my kids can get up and I'll wake up before they even hit my room. Mm-hmm. And I didn't hear anything. I heard nothing. I have gone back and forth and back and forth, I, even with the officers. I was like, I just, I can't believe that that happened and I didn't hear anything, mm-hmm. like nothing, because I normally would just pop up. I heard nothing. Like no scream, no thud, nothing. 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 Okay. Um, did anybody else go to bed at the same time you did? Do you remember? Everybody went to bed besides Bridget and Tam were the only ones up, I believe, at that time. Did you know at that time that Bridget was leaving, or did you think she was staying? I had no idea. Okay. I was just going to bed. So as far as you, I mean, at that point, because you're talking almost 2 in the morning, you would assume that everybody's yeah. staying. But Yeah, I don't think it was that late, though, because we had time change that night. Okay. I don't remember what time it was, but I know that the time changed that night. Okay. So I know that that has led to a lot of confusion. Right. Over all the, everybody reading all the... Stuff. Right, so you know, one o'clock would have been midnight. Then. Right. So, um, so you guys, what time? About what time do you think it was? And you guys, I have no bed? idea. I thought it okay. was about midnight one. I, okay. I can't really put a time on it. Not now. I could have probably told you then, but. <laughs> mm. All right. So you didn't know if Bridget and Tam were planning on staying, going. You guys just went to bed. Well, I know that Tam was planning on staying because she had mentioned to me and my husband since everybody was going to bed that she was going to go home. And my husband is a very strict, you do not drink and drive. And that is honest to God truth. He, he's just told her, he said, he said, don't drive. Don't drive. He said, it's not worth it. And so she told us, she promised that she would stay. And that's when she told me she was going to go outside and smoke and she'd go to bed. Did she appear to be too intoxicated to drive? Is that why Tom kind of like... Well, yeah, we knew that she drank that tequila. So, I mean, my husband is seriously like nothing. Like, he's not a one beer and drive home. He's a nothing and drive home. Mm -hmm. He got pulled over one time and scared him to death, and that's all he needed. (laughs) And he wasn't even drunk. Did she seem, I mean, was she like... She seemed, I mean, fine. I mean, she really did. Like, she didn't seem sick. She didn't, because she didn't seem, I mean, she seemed she fine. She or anything? Yeah, not that I recall. I mean, she just seemed to be having a fun, having fun. She was just a fun-spirited person. But she did I wasn't worried about her. I mean, I've had friends that I've been worried about mm-hmm. and would not leave them by themselves. Mm-hmm. And if she were like that, I would have never went to bed. So no slurring, no stumbling? Nothing. Not at all. Not that I recall. I don't remember anything like that. She was just laughing. Was that pretty typical for her personality, or yes. was that because of the alcohol? No, every time I've ever seen her, she's been happy. In the middle of the day at football game, I mean, all of I me mean, since I've known her, she used to always have this bullhorn that she would yell out for the football players, for the boys. It was so awesome. You can't beat greatness. That's what she used to say. Really? Tom and it. Can't beat greatness. It's a good saying for kids. Yeah, she was a good mama. Okay, so the last time you, you saw her, you gave her a hug. Mm-hmm. Told her you were going to bed, and she said she was going to go smoke a cigarette and then go to bed. Yep. Okay. Before I get to some of that other stuff, do you have anything? Uh, when, like, out on the porch and she was smoking, was there, like, an area she would, I don't know, was there, like, a chair she was always in? Was she always standing in a certain 
Was she was she sitting. Or was she all over the place? Yeah, she was kind of, yeah. She, I, I know that she was sitting in the seat, like to the back of the house. Uh -huh. um, like, and then I the think she was sitting like, over so here. So like up against, like, the, like her back was to the back of the house? Yeah, okay. and then she was in this, I mean, I think she was all over. Because I remember she was sitting over here because I was sitting there at one point. Uh -huh. And then she was sitting over here, Marcy was sitting here. But I think she was just kind of all over. But the salt. Yeah. And as far as her, do um, you remember, like, the brand of cigarettes she smoked, anything like that? Mm -mm. I wouldn't have a clue. All I did was tell her not to do it. Yeah. Do you remember anything about even, like, the color lighter she used? Nope. Yeah, what were they when they were trying to light the fire pit? And like, I haven't, like I said, I haven't been out there. Does that fire pit? Do you have to have a lighter to kind of start it, or it's just you, a switch that it's you a flip switch on? switch, and he had, he was trying to get, get the gas, the gas on, and then you flip the switch once the gas is hooked mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have to ask some pointed questions. They're going to be a little uncomfortable, but I got to ask them. Okay. Did you see her fall? No. No, like, accidental slip, she tripped and fell, and nobody wanted to say anything? No. Okay. The last time I saw her is when I hugged her and she walked outside. That's the last time I saw her alive. Did you push her off of the porch? No. Okay. Did you do anything to knowingly cause her death? No. trying to clear up some things and I know those questions suck but I have to ask them because I have to make sure that nobody's trying to hide anything that happened to her that night um, are there any questions that you have for me that I can answer 